So once we display the data from our database, so let me just create some of the buttons inside this action. So for that, let me just go inside the home again. And at the bottom, so we just need to create the button here. So let me just go inside here and let me just type table data. And inside here, let me just create the button. So just type button and just give the class name button. So just type button and button primary. So I will be just giving the color blue and we can just type MX2 for the margin left two. And similarly, let me just create another button as well. So let me call it. So we can just copy this one from here and paste it inside here. So let me just copy twice and let me just keep the another color inside here. So let me just give something like outline primary and let me just call the first one with view and second one. So let me call it edit and the third one. So we will be creating for delete. So delete and we just want to change this primary color into danger. So danger will basically make it red color. So let me just save this application. And if I just go here, so you can see view, edit and delete button has been added. So we will work on this view, edit and delete later on the video for now. So this will just be the button. So once we do this on action, so now we will be working on this add user. So we will be writing the code for adding the user. So whenever I will be clicking on this add user, so this should display me a form. And once we submit that form, so this should display the data into this home page. So for that, just go to your VS code and just go to this users and inside this user. So just go into this add user and just type RFC. And this will now create one functional component. So inside here, let me just type something like add user form. So we will be adding the form later on. So for now, we will just want to add the routing. So for adding the routing, so we just have to go to this NPM and just type react router and just type DOM and just go to this first one. So the react router DOM and we just need to click here to copy this command. And let me just go here and open the terminal and just type control and B to paste that command. So this should now add the React Router DOM into our React application. So if you see here the React Router DOM and the version 6.3.0 has been successfully added. So once we add, the, add that, so we just have to go to this app.js and here, so we just need to import the React Router DOM or browser router. So for that, just type import and just type browser router as router and routes and so we will be using the routes and route for the routing and just type as or from react router dome so once you do that so we just need to wrap the whole application with the router so just go inside this and just type router and inside this so we just have to grab this navbar and home and we will be writing the whole component inside the route. So for that, just type routes just below the navbar. So just type routes and inside this route. So we will be putting all the routes. So for that, just type route and just type exact path equals. So now for home, so we will be just giving the slash. So whenever it will show the slash so it will be display it should display the home page so for that just type slash only and just type element and just keep the curly braces and just type the home component and just type just close the bracket and again just close the bracket here as well and again just close the bracket here as well so let me just clear the home from here and if i just save this application and reload the application so this is showing some problems so we just have to change these routes into route. So there are two routes here. So let me just save this application and you can see on the slash route. So this is showing the home component. So similarly, so we have to use the same thing for add user as well. So for that, just type route and just type exact and path. So let me just give something like add user or you can just give the default name, whichever you want and just type element and in the element, so we just want to display the add user. So just give the curly braces and just type add user. 
so you need to make sure to import this add user as well so if you're not able to auto import here so you can just manually type this one as well and just close the bracket and now we just have to add this add user into the button as well so for this add user button so we just have to add the path so for that just go into this nav bar so in nav bar so we have this add user button and instead of this button so we just have to change this into link so for that just type link from the react router dom and make sure to import this link from react router dom as well so just type this manually or you can just use the auto import as well and just change this button into link again and you just need to change the path here so just set the path so just two and just type add user so this add user is basically coming from here so we have given the add user here so you just need to make sure to give the exact name which you have given in this route so just give the same name here as well and if i just save the application and go here on this application and click on this add user so you can see the add user form is displaying here so instead of this add user form now we will be making the real form here so this is how you configure the routing